Okay, so I've got uh, these two spheres and I'm just going to name one as a enemy and the second one as a health pack. Okay, and um, uh, we can create tags. You can choose whether you want 10 tags or we need at least three tags because I need I need an enemy so this one is tagged as an enemy come here and it's an enemy the health pack I will tag it as a add tag health um, boost health boost so if I just go here and I can say health boost so that's an enemy that's a health boost now this one both have a collider but a health pack is going to be a trigger so the difference is Oh, that's <laughs> that wasn't uh, very smart. I'll just move uh, this enemy to somewhere here. I have the input script myself, so let me just quickly do that. I'll just use the scripts that I've put up for you guys uh, on the net. The input axis X and Y. So if I just go here, um, I will assign the input axis. Uh, yes, I've got that x, y and transform translate. So I've got float x, float y and transform translate. I can read that position and put it on a UI as well, but I don't need that right now. And whether the character is moving, true or false is also there. But just right now I need uh, the input axis so I can move it gonna save it and I've been trying out a few recording software so I don't want to make the videos too long initially so yeah the, the, it's, it's working uh, uh, we can put constraints if you don't want it to rotate so we'll do that right now so we can go to my hero and tell my hero under constraints that uh, so we want it to move, but we don't want it to rotate in uh, X and Z. So Y is falling down, so that position is fine. Let's freeze the rotation. So there. And you can see this one he goes through, but the other one he has to bounce over it. Okay. Now we are going to to that. So when you hit the first guy, uh, he will be um, losing health and second guy will be picking up health. I'm just going to make this uh, health pack a bit longer. Now, now uh, I'll just explain to you the script. Something that is going to be a collision in Java uh, in a C sharp, it's on collision enter, and you can target the game tag which the object is going to hit so you can say if the object that has been hit has got the tag of enemy then reduce the health and reduce the score or increase the health increase the score both of these scripts they now that's for the if and that's begin and end here both of these scripts stay outside of the public update they are like their, their own update so I just go to Unity and put them outside of update. So let's begin end update here. Now 
it is looking for health ref but i don't have health ref so uh, what do i have i have character health so i'm going to say character so when you copy the scripts you got to modify them for you with your own variables And what do I have? I have game score. Now I need to remove this one here, which is continuously decreasing the health because that was just to show. <laughs> and I need to remove this whole block statement as well so I've got the bar health equal to character health display health equal to the character health and what's happening to the character health and game score here is I need to remove the game score also continuously of going up but here I've got a game score of minus 10 if it hits the enemy and plus 10 if it hits the uh, trigger okay now when it hits the trigger, the trigger is finished, it's destroyed. So let's see if it actually works. Uh, I think I have this extra bracket there. So you can see I've lost health there. And uh, I should be gaining health here, but let's see. Let's have a look at it. Um, hero script, my hero. health that reduces by point 0.1 and when I increase it I'll increase it by point 0.2 and game score can be plus 10 and minus 10 no problem with that F and F So there, that's sort of, every time I hit this, this is working. Uh, this one is not working. We'll see why. Now, uh, this fellow, his name is... It is a trigger. Yes. His name is health pack. And the tag is health boost, so I need to change the tag in the script. Enemy and health boost. So you gotta be careful when you use the script in your own game program. You gotta modify these things. So this is the tag name, the variable name, everything changes. And now it should work. So now if I hit there, I, I decrease health, and yeah, it comes back and it works. So now it's working. I'll put up this video as well as this file.